All right, so today's lesson is going to be about expanding. Why do we need to expand? If you remember our forms, we had three forms, factored, standard, and vertex. And factored is two brackets that are multiplying each other. Vertex, we got like a bracket squared plus something. And standard is just pluses or minuses, different terms. So we expand factored and we expand vertex in order to go into standard form. So just keep in mind that's the reason what we're doing, how to go into standard form. Um, before we get on to things, we talk about monomials. Mono means one. Polynomials, poly means many. So a monomial means it's one term. What is a term? Well, see if you can recognize it. Y squared is one term. There's nothing adding or subtracting, just multiplication among themselves. 4x to the power of 3, nothing adding or subtracting. 5x squared set to the power of 4, or even just the number 3, are all monomials, because there's only one term. And the polynomials, we got binomials, two terms, trinomials, three terms, and then etc. etc. Really only the two first ones are important. So binomial has two terms. So we see that it got 2x plus 1. There's two terms, the 2x and the 1. Uh, 5y squared minus 2x, again two terms. And x squared plus 4y, we see that that plus separates the, the expression into two, and those are two terms. Similar for trinomials, we got x squared plus 4x minus 3, the plus and the minus divided into three spots. And it could get more complicated, although we're not going to really going to see them. But x y to the power of four minus three x y plus ten to the power of y. Those are all trinomials. Okay. Before we get on to how to expand this, let me just show you how to do this with algebra tiles, which is very very simple, and I'll, I'll help you visualize it. If you're not familiar with algebra tiles, basically it's just three kinds of shapes that will represent values. So the small tile will be the unit tile that represent number one. A large, a slim tile, but long, has one side of one and one side longer, which we're gonna call it x. That's gonna be the x, it's kinda of like the area. One times one is one, one times x is x. And the larger tile, which is gonna be x by x, well that's gonna be your x squared because that's the area. So very simple, if I wanna represent two x plus one, I will grab two of these tiles and one of the unit ones. And that gives me my 2x plus 1. And if I want to represent x squared plus x plus 3, well, I grab the x style, then 2x, sorry, 1x, and I can put it like this, or I can put the vertical, and then three unit tiles, and this is how we do it. Now, usually we have this in, in physical form, so you can move it around, but I'm going to show you how to use it with um, just writing it. I'll make things even faster. Very easy. Okay. A monomial times a binomial, so one term times two terms. How do we do this in algebra tiles first? Well, x plus 1 would be something like this. The long tile, the slim tile, plus a simple one. If I had two of those, that means I'm going to have another long tile, another one over here. So that means it's 2x plus 2. Okay, that was pretty easy. How do we do this in algebra? Well, you probably used to draw little arrows, and that's a good idea. 2 times x gives me 2x, and 2 times 1 gives me plus 2. So we get the same result, 2x plus 2, and it will match. Now, here's a faster way of doing this. 2x plus 3. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to say, instead of drawing the tile, I'm going to draw the the width. So it's x is a long one, x is a long one, and then I got three little ones. Right? And now I've got four going on the vertical. It's four, four units so it means four little ones. One, two, three, four. And now all I'm going to do is join, make a rectangle and put a line through all the little tick marks and they'll give other answers. Be super fast. Draw across, draw across, and what do we end up with? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 x's, and 3 by 4, which is 12, 12 unit tiles. So it seems that it's going to be 8x plus 12. If we did this in the algebra tile mode, sorry, in the algebra way, we say 4 times 2x gives us 8x. Oh yeah, that's the 8x removed there. And now 4 times 3 gives me 
plus 12, which is what we got over here. So we're not going to use a lot of the algebra tiles per se, but I want to see how it matches, how this actually makes sense drawing the arrows. So what about if we have a binomial times another binomial? So if you got x plus 1 and x plus 2, we're going to do the same little trick. x plus 1, I'm going to put it going down, x plus 1. And x plus 2, I'm going to put it along, x, on me go there, plus 2. And I'm going to draw the lines. What do we have? Well, it looks like I have 1x squared, and I got 1, 2, 3 x's and just two unit tiles right okay how do we do this in algebra with the little arrows so let me change colors i'm going to do the x times both of them and then the one times both of them and see what happens so x times x is x squared and then one times two is equal oh crap let me do that again, my eraser. So, x times x is x squared, and then x times 2 is equal to 2x. All right, now I'm going to grab another marker, and I'm going to do the same thing with the 1. 1 times x. 1 times x is equal to x, and 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Notice that I'm using all um, addition numbers, or plus numbers, because it makes it easier for the tiles, but this could the same works, works the same way with the minus sign. Now I notice that I've had x squared, and I've got 2x plus x. Well, I can put those together because they're like terms, and that's 3x and then the two, and we end up with exactly the same thing, right? You can give this a try, x plus two and two x plus three, do it on your own with the things, and then give that a try by doing the arrows on top and the arrows on the bottom, and you should end up with the, exactly the same answer. This is what we're going to be doing in class. You notice that when we did do the arrows on top and the arrows on the bottom, then I'm going to have one extra step when I need to put those two together. Well, in class, we're going to practice it so we can do it in just one step and we can do it in, in our heads. And basically, it's going to be doing 3, three times 2x gives us 6x, and 2 times minus 5 gives us minus 10. We put those together in our head and then we write our answer. And the other very important thing we're going to do in class is this. This is called a perfect, so expanding a binomial, or like a perfect uh, square. And that's 2x plus 3 squared means it's 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. And there's this formula, a plus b squared equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, which would be very important for us to get a little shortcut for factoring. And you want to keep that in mind, because factoring would be doing exactly the opposite of expanding, going from here to there. The a, you can call it the first. The b, you can call it the second. And basically, if you have this squared, it's just like saying the first one squared plus twice the first times the second plus the second one squared. 